I'm absolutely sure that the implementing of a digital workflow in the daily office for a restorative clinician makes it much easier for all the parties who are involved in the treatment, even for the patient. Yeah, the shift to the uh, implant digital workflow, you have a lot of benefits. It's not only the time, it's also the safety for the patient. Because in the beginning, if you have a new uh, technology, yeah, the investments are sometimes very high. But if it's getting more and more standard, um, we learn from other examples that IT and software-based technology uh, will reduce the prices. And I recommend not to start by the big cases with a full art restoration and a lot of augmentations. Start with the cases you do mostly. 80% of all implants are placed in a single tooth restoration, in a single tooth gap instead of a city unit bridge. And I think in these cases, in this indication, the digital workflow nowadays gives you a big advantage uh, in the daily office. In the daily use with the digital workflow, it gets easier because it's more reliable. And because it's more reliable, because you place the implant where you are planned to place it, you place the crown on that way that you have planned before on the simulation on the virtual patient, it makes it more easier and faster. The first workflow, the lab, work, lab side workflow, um, is in my opinion easier to use for the beginners because they have no invest and even they don't have to be very big educated in using the software for planning because this can be outsourced. And uh, with this outsourcing model, helping with the company, you have only to approve the planning and the treatment and then you can have everything pre-delivered. That means you get the template for guided surgery, you get the customized abutment and you get the temporary restoration at the time where you place the implant. 